Where Good Ideas Come From, The Natural History of Innovation by Stephen Johnson is a thought-provoking exploration of the origins and evolution of innovation. Through a combination of historical anecdotes, scientific research, and insightful analysis, Johnson unveils the complex and often surprising ways in which creativity and groundbreaking ideas emerge in various fields. The central thesis of the book is that innovation is not a solitary act of genius but rather a product of networks, connections, and environments. Johnson argues that good ideas are not born in isolation, they are the result of a dynamic interplay of factors that foster creativity. To support this claim, the author delves into the history of innovation, drawing examples from diverse fields such as science, technology, art, and music. One of the key concepts introduced in the book is the idea of the adjacent possible. Johnson describes this as a kind of intellectual ecosystem where new ideas emerge from the combination of existing elements. He uses the analogy of a building with many rooms, where each room represents a set of possibilities. As we explore one room, we discover doors leading to adjacent rooms, each filled with new possibilities. This concept underscores the importance of being in the right place at the right time, surrounded by a rich diversity of ideas and influences. The author also highlights the role of serendipity in the creative process. Johnson argues that chance encounters and unexpected connections often lead to groundbreaking innovations. He cites the example of Charles Darwin, who was influenced by a chance reading of Thomas Malthus' essay on population, which sparked his theory of natural selection. Such stories remind us that innovation is not always a linear, planned process but can be a product of fortunate accidents. Johnson's exploration of the liquid networks of information exchange is particularly insightful. He discusses how cities, with their dense populations and diverse social interactions, have historically been hubs of innovation. These urban environments facilitate the flow of ideas and the collision of different perspectives, leading to the emergence of creative solutions. The author's discussion of coffeehouses in 18th century Europe as intellectual gathering places exemplifies this concept. In addition to examining the role of social and environmental factors in innovation, Johnson also explores the significance of the slow hunch. He argues that some ideas take time to mature and develop. They linger in the back of our minds, gradually connecting with other concepts until they crystallize into fully formed innovations. This notion challenges the conventional wisdom that innovation is solely the result of sudden eureka moments. Throughout the book, Johnson offers a rich tapestry of historical and contemporary examples to illustrate his points. From the invention of the printing press to the development of the World Wide Web, he demonstrates how innovation is often the result of collaborative efforts and the remixing of existing ideas. One of the book's strengths is its readability. Johnson's engaging prose and storytelling make complex concepts accessible to a broad audience. He skillfully weaves together anecdotes, case studies, and scientific research to construct a compelling narrative that keeps readers engaged from start to finish. While Where Good Ideas Come From provides valuable insights into the nature of innovation, it is not without its limitations. Some readers may find the book's emphasis on anecdotal evidence and historical examples insufficiently grounded in empirical research. Additionally, the book's focus on the positive aspects of innovation may overlook the ethical and social implications of technological advancements. In conclusion, Stephen Johnson's Where Good Ideas Come From is a thought-provoking exploration of the natural history of innovation. By emphasizing the role of networks, connections, and environments in fostering creativity, 
Johnson challenges the traditional view of innovation as the product of individual genius. The book's engaging narrative and rich examples make it a compelling read for anyone interested in understanding how innovation truly works. Ultimately, it encourages us to create environments that nurture and promote the emergence of good ideas, recognizing that innovation is a collective and evolutionary process.